We're doing incline on the treadmill today. Normally, I'd like to hop on a stair climber because it just, it just gives me a better uh, burn for the amount of time that I'm working out. Like 20 minutes, 30 minutes normally works. Um, you got to walk a little bit harder on here, too. And, you know, it just doesn't feel the same. But I'm going to see if I can become one of those uh, treadmill people that, that y'all see on Instagram. And, um, you know, hop on here a little bit more consistently rather than just waiting on the stair climber going to LA Fitness only. You know, I could, I could hop on here and do some incline too. But all that being said, let's go ahead and get this going. And we can start the conversation we was going to have today. Hope the audio ain't too bad in terms of like the, the treadmill so you guys can hear me talking and stuff. If not, I'm sure I'll hear it once I start trying to edit this stuff myself. But the thing I wanted to talk about today, the thing I wanted to talk about today is the importance of making things simple, making life simple, making the stuff that you do simple. Because, you know, we get in our heads a lot of times that we need to be doing difficult things all the time, right? And we do need to do things at a level of difficulty so that we can improve ourselves, of course. But, you know, I feel like we get it wrong a lot of times. We think that it has to be more complicated than, than it actually has to be. You know, we think that we got to be able to do um, 100 muscle-ups or 15, 20 muscle-ups to get that to get that physique that we're looking for. You know, and there's different ways to go about things, different ways to train, different diets. Everybody has their own diet that, that works for them. But it's about making it as simple as possible for you, you know. So... The best thing I could do is give uh, an example using myself and what I do and how I make things simple and do it in the way that I do it, right? It's, it's, about how you do, it's about how you do things, not exactly what you're doing as much. So, for example, today, how am I keeping it simple? I got some simple clothes on, right? I got clothes that I can wash, rinse, and repeat for the next day and for the next week so that I'm able to consistently go to the gym consistently handle the business I need to take care of, right? I'm making it simple that way. How else, I'm at, how else am I making it simple, right? My cardio, my cardio isn't hard. Anytime I've been in amazing shape, like sub 15% body fat, you know, super lean, abs showing, anytime I've been at that weight, every time I did it, I kept everything I did simple. I just did it all the time. I kept my cardio simple, right? I, I was on a stair climber. There was nothing else I was doing. 20 minutes on a stair climber. 25 minutes, 30, 30 minutes, just increase the time that I'm on a stair climber. I'm getting shredded already, right? If you look at somebody like Jeff Logues, right? He's, he's been somebody I've been keeping up with for a minute, right? Since I was in my teens, right? And, and gaining inspiration from him and what he's doing. Why? Because you see how he's doing it. It's consistency that you're doing every single day, right? It's not the fact that you know, the cardio that you're doing is, is insane. You know, you're doing sprint suicides, whatever works for you, cool. But you can keep it simple and do things that are easy to do. It's just hard to do them in the way that you need to. It's hard to do them consistently on a consistent basis, right? The hard part isn't coming on here and walking. Everybody, goodness gracious. <laughs> Bro, the lights turned off on me. This goes to show you, bro, like, I got to get this gym fixed because, you know, <laughs> it's used to motion sensors and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying before the lights turned off? Um, it's hard to do the simple stuff consistently. It's hard to do it every day. It's hard in terms of that, that grind and falling in love with the grind. That's the hard part. But it's simple to do push-ups, right? Look at people in prison. Those are some of the guys in the best shape doing straight calisthenics. They might have some weights that they can, that they can throw around, but they don't need a gym with all the works. You don't need a gym with, with every machine that you could possibly think of. You don't need all of that stuff, bro. And if you believe that you do, it's, it's your fault, unfortunately, that you're not seeing the progress that you want to see. It's my fault that I'm not seeing the progress that I want to see because I'm not doing the simple but hard things consistently. Right, it's about doing simple but hard things, right? There are difficult and hard things, 
All right, that's a whole, that's a whole other level that you could take it to. But then there are simple and easy things, right? You want to stay away from the simple and easy things. But the simple, consistent things that you need to do, but it's hard to consistently do them, do those re repeatedly, and you you'll see the progress that you want to see. So I'm taking my own advice, coming out here, hopping on a stair climber, getting some walking in. And I'm going to be back out here, well, not out here specifically. I'm going to be at another gym a couple hours later, you know. It's just me getting, getting going. All right, so I'm turning up on the stair climber a little bit. Why do I keep calling this a stair climber? We turning it up on the treadmill. I'm tripping. All right, so back to the conversation of doing things that are simple but hard. Let me give you guys some examples of some things that are simple but hard. For walking on a stair climber. Simple but hard to do consistently, right? Eating well, right? You got diet, dietary goals, you know, things, things that you want to reach, things that you want to be able to do, a certain body fat that you want to get to, a certain uh, weight or amount of muscle that you want to put on, a certain amount of weight that you want to lift, right? It's not about doing the most complex compound movements so that you're able to increase your bench max. How do you increase your bench max? Do five reps, five sets, increase the weight each week. Each time you're trying to hop on there, get you a spotter, you know, so that you're able to crank out those last two or three reps that you normally wouldn't be able to crank out without a spotter or hop on a machine that allows you to, to do a little bit more than you would regularly or normally be able to do. Control it, be explosive, right? And it, it's simple, right? I said all of those things, but really it's just hopping on the bench week, week in, week out. Five sets, five reps, right? However way you break it down, and you could do it different ways. You could do three sets of six, or or four sets of six, right? You want to keep at least for the, for that goal, you're gonna to want to be able to keep your your reps a little bit lower and your weight a little bit higher. But you know it's it's still the same, right? It's doing that simple movement, that squat. You want to increase your squat doing that simple movement a lot. Doing it a lot is the hard part, right? Counting your macronutrients. Putting that into the app, looking up a uh, food that you ate, adding on a couple of like some ketchup or whatever condiments you added on to whatever meal that you have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is simple, right? If, if that was a job that you had to do, think about it. That, that'd be a simple job. You'd be making money for free. The hard part is once that one day goes by, those 24 hours go by, and you realize that all of those logs that you made and the system is now gone. Now you gotta go back for the next day and do it again. And the next day and do it again and do it again and do it again. That's the hard part, right? Simple things, doing them consistently, eating well, right? A lot of us, we come into the gym do, and do the, the simple, and easier thing of coming in the gym and working out, it's easy to work out one day, right? Simple to work out one day and easy to work out one day. It's hard to do consistently, right? It's simple to eat healthy, right? It's simple to, to break the fast with some fruit in the morning and then, and then, and then around 4 p.m., 5 p.m. when you get off of work to, to go to the gym and get out the gym and get you a roasted chicken or, or some, some chicken breasts, cut those up and throw those in the air fryer with, with a 90 second rice, a cup of 90 second rice. I'm giving you guys game right now. It's simple to do that, but it's not easy to do it day in and day out. It's not easy, come, it's not gonna be easy coming out here and doing this day in, day out, whether I record it or not, whether I gotta, I gotta edit that day or not, right? It's gonna be hard, but that's just, that's just part of it, man, you know? This is all part of it. I 
one of the things I hate is the fact that, you know, I'm standing here walking, trying not to spill my coffee, and I'm shaking, so I gotta like, <laughs> I gotta walk like a cameraman. You know how like the cameraman be walking, they be like recording, recording like this and walking like real, you know what I'm talking about. I don't gotta explain it for real. Coming up, finally, finally coming up on 20 minute mark. Me being on the stair climber. I'ma knock out the last 10 minutes or so off camera. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been a good one. It's a little different, me coming in here doing this morning cardio, but this is, this is probably the best time for me to come in here because nobody in here don't feel like I'm bothering anybody. I can get my cardio in, talk to y'all. Two birds, one stone. My aim is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So with all that being said, man, make sure you guys check out the last video. Dropped a video yesterday. Dropped another one today. Uh, check out the watermelon challenge I did on this channel. Just go on my channel and just start checking stuff out, bro. Like, please. We're going to make this a playlist, though. So if you guys enjoy this, subscribe for it. You know, share it around. I appreciate it. All that being said, you guys have a good day. And I'm out.